Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. G, back in the living room, ready to get you guys set up for another workout for the week. Um, today's theme is a morning uh, flow of yoga. So what I've been trying to do is myself be a little bit more flexible and in that sense still get the benefits of um, exercise through um, another form. Uh, yoga itself primarily focuses on um, stretches and um, holding your breath throughout those stretches. So one thing I want you to remember today is um, if you can as a cue to breathe in and inhale as you move through um, some of the movements. So um, besides trying to do your best and perform those movements, like I said, one thing I'll be looking for is just make sure you're breathing in through your nose, inhaling out through your mouth, and um, that will get us through our session today. All right, so we'll get it started. You're gonna start out in a plank position. Keep those hands basically at your shoulder width apart. Feet go back. Nice and straight, try to keep your back nice and straight in a plank. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift up, pull your hips back, and if you need to bend your knees if you need to, that's okay. Just try and get your head to feel relaxed. Your hands are supporting you over your shoulders. So it's like I said, it's okay if your knees are a little bent. Um, this is just getting us through this morning warm up. So as you come back, you're gonna come into a straight plank, Come slow down and try and keep that pressure. Don't touch your body until you touch the ground completely all at once. So you're gonna drop your shoulders, lift with only your back, try to keep your hips down and push forward up. Keep those hips locked down. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. So as you come down, keep your hips straight, push in your um, legs to the ground and come up on to your knees and then we're going to go back up into um, our stretch they call it downward dog so hips up knees a little bent pushing through with the palms of your hands so you can either walk up come up to center try and have a straight keep those feet straight obviously i'm still working on it so i'm not perfect as well but what we want to do is focus on keeping those knees straight, hands coming down. As you come up, try and keep that, keep those legs based nice and strong. So you're going to come up, reach over to the right, try and stretch your body. I should do it this way. So you're going to stretch all the way, all the way to the right, hands to the side all the way to the left. Remember, keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and back up to center. So you're gonna dive back down, try and keeping those legs still straight. Hands are gonna come down, step your right foot back nice and straight, and then left foot back too. Come back down to plank, so nice and straight. Reaching down. Keep those feet straight down here. Put your hips to the mat, to the ground, and then keep your shoulders down as you lift with your back. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. And then tuck your feet back in. We're gonna go into our lift up, downward dog. So you're gonna keep those feet nice and flat on the ground. Lift that right foot. So you're going to try and lift your right foot back. Remember, breathe in. Come up. As you put your right foot through, keep that straight. You're going to come in, bounce both feet. Come back down, nice and straight. Keep working on that flexion with your knees. Come down to the left. Left foot back. Right foot back in a plank. 
Feet coming straight down. Don't let your body touch before your feet. Try to do it all at the same time. Back. Pushing up. Hips stay to the ground. Come back down. Remember, plant your hands um, basically at yeah, shoulder width apart. So kind of like you're doing a push up. You're up here, <clears throat> and then you lift your hips, lift your hips back to the high corner of the ceiling if you can. Um, like I said, it's okay if your knees are bent. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Coming back down, straight plank position. Don't let your body touch before your feet. Tuck those feet, bring them down to the ground, keep your hips locked down onto the ground. Lift with your back, keep breathing into your nose, and then exhale as you come down. So your feet are gonna be tucked back out, pulling up. Lift those hips back up. All right, take a minute, bring your knees back. Take a breath, catch yourself, ground yourself. So we're gonna go back into our plank. So hips coming up. Now we go into our downward dog, keep those, like I said, try and keep those knees straight or bent, depending on how it feels. So your right foot's gonna come back up again. Drive it through your body, reaching in. Try to bring your body up without letting your hands go. Hold this up. Try and keep that back leg straight. And keep this hip tucked in. Then come back down. Back to plank. Lift those hips back up. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. This time you're gonna bring your left foot up. So left foot comes up, take a deep breath. Going all the way through. Try and keep that right leg straight. Come up. Hold it, breathing in. Exhale. Come back down. Hand shoulder width apart. And drive those hips up now. So you're gonna inhale, come back to our plank, coming down, exhale, wait for your body and legs to touch at the same time. Lift with your back, keep those hips on the ground still. Coming back up onto the knees, back into Downward dog, our stretch. This is like our home base stretch. In through your nose, exhale, out through your mouth. Walking up. Keep those legs nice and straight. And just let your head fall and relax. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Slowly come on up with your legs. Come back down. You can bend your knees if you have to. Come down. See if you can bounce back into a our plank position. So drive backing into our downward dog, keep those feet as close as you can to the ground. If you need to bend your knees, it's okay. But push through with your hands. Remember, that's by your palms. Bend back down. See if you could bounce up to your starting point up here. 
and all the way up. Come back down, stretch. Inhale. Remember, exhale as well. So as you come back down, come down onto your knees. Take a couple of breaths just to get to where we were. One of the good things that I like about yoga is that you might not think that it's a strength exercise, but holding those positions for a few moments not only helps with your range of motion, but um, it does work on building up your body strength. So that was our challenge for week two. I hope you liked it. And um, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you guys uh, next week.